BMW leaks info about its one series replacements on purpose, I'm sure, Erica, right? Right. Porsche's compact crossover will have some hefty turbo guts. BMW's 4 Series will rock a hybrid version and take its top off. And Red Bull is rumored to have a hybrid secret weapon. Plus, we got some rapid fire news. Bang. Thanks, gang. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily on a Friday, and uh, my Giants suck. 0 oh, 6. Terrible. Still love them, though. True fan. For those of you who are huge into F1, you know it's nothing new for Red Bull driver Sebastian Vettel to just kill it on the track. But at the Singapore Grand Prix a couple weekends back, he absolutely murdered the competition with a 32 second margin victory. By the way, less than a second margin is big in F1. So 32 seconds is just off the charts. It might as well have been like an hour. Although that victory is setting off rumors of a suspension connected hybrid curse traction control system that is technically legal. As a reminder, traction control through the ECU is illegal in F1. Red Bull's advanced hybrid system is well known and a theory has come out that it is being used to control how much power is sent to each wheel during cornering instead of using an illegal ECU based system. That may have led to Vettel's immense lead and might just be the coolest loophole in F1. I feel like this is a like the equivalent of a pro athlete doing a drug that is performance enhancing but somehow got around the system and is just kicking ass. We'll eventually find it all out. But if you listen to a 2007 race and that most recent race, kind of sounds the same. Put those links in the description. Yes, we did. All right, if you want to go hear those, they're down below. All right. And this year's LA Auto Show, which we will be at, right, Erica? That's so right. Well, I'll be there. BMW is preparing a new 4 Series version. I'll give you one guess. Go. All right, well, uh, actually, if you read the title of this video, then you are correct, sir. That's right, it's a hybrid. The 4 Series based model will likely use the Active Hybrid 3 powertrain, combining a 3 liter 6 cylinder engine with a 55 horsepower electric motor for a total of how many ponies, Erica? 340. 340, that's right. Fuel economy should be in the 39 to 40 mile per gallon range and 0 to 6 day. Six day. Zero to 60 should say, okay, peace out in 5.3 seconds. Pretty good. Oh, and uh, here's some photos of the BMW 4 Series with its top off and a bike on the back. And here's another one. Go ahead, give them one more. Terrific. That'll be at the LA Auto Show as well. We'll see it and we'll let you know what it looks like in person. Like that. We already scooped a bunch of details on the upcoming Porsche Macan, Macan, however you want to say it, and the Macan S. But now we've got some information about the hottest version of the upcoming compact crossover. And that is the Macan Turbo. The twin turbo 3.6 liter V6 will be reportedly making 396 of these. <laughs> right there. And 406 pound feet of torque. Pretty intense for a compact crossover. All that power will work through a 7 speed PDK. That's a transmission, of course. And onto an all wheel drive setup. Macan will obviously gain Cayenne-esque styling and will start at $52,000 for the S and will cost $75,000 for the Turbo. So also pretty expensive for a compact crossover as well, would you say, AK? Mm, yeah. yeah. You know, would you say Macan or Macan? Neither. Is it Pecan or Pecan? I'd say Macan. What about Pecan or Pecan? Pecan pie? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It looks like BMW's South African site has made a little bit of an oops but it might have been an on purpose oops. Releasing full specs on the German automaker's one series replacement, the two series. Now of course, this could have all been on purpose, like I said, but whatever. Gonna get numbery here, so listen up. First up is the 220i Coupe, which will use a two liter turbo four cylinder, making 181 horsepower and 200 pound feet of torque, and will start at $37,000. Next, uh, next is the 220d Coupe, which will use a two liter diesel engine to make the same 181 horsepower, but rock a beefier 280 pound feet of torquage and will start at 39 large. Finally, there's a M235i, which will use a three liter turbo straight six engine from the M135i, making 322 horsepower and 332 pound feet of twist. That's torque. That means zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. And that car, my friends, will cost 50,000 greenbacks. Ta-ching. 
right? Real nice. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of uh, numbers there. Hope you followed along. Hey, let's get into some news that is faster than regular news, and we call it Rapid Fire News. Bang. And here we go. New Britney Spears song, she talks Bugatti Maserati, but an Aventador is all up in there. You better work, bitch, because it's expensive, bitch. She still looks hot. For 47 grand on eBay, a Chevy Camaro limo. Just say no. Dude surprises his girlfriend with a new C7 Corvette. Her response is weak sauce. He ain't rich. You better work, bitch. Speaking of vet, remote controlled vet, rocket engine, you bet. Nice. Apartment building in China built right in the middle of a highway. No way, bad feng shui. Bottleneck traffic all day. And that's your rapid fire news. Rhyming. Nice. Be rhyming. It's the best one yet. Right? Yeah. Say that every week, Max. Well, you outdo yourself. Each All right. Week. Well, I appreciate it. Our FLD question of the day is directed at the race fans. We were talking about that earlier. Are all these newer racing regulations making it less fun or more interesting? You know, since everyone has to satisfy the racing requirements and rules, is it cool or do, is it is it sucky that there's all these rules, or is it cool that it's like, hey, you know, even playing field, let's see who does it the best. Right? Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and send us yours. Video yourself asking a question. We'll use it in the show. All right? Send it to tipsfastandaily.com. Tweet the link at us or Facebook the link at us or post the video on our Facebook. We'll see it. All right? All right? Cool. That will do it for Fastlane Daily today and for this week. I'm Derek D. Fastlanedaily.com is our official site. Have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll talk to you on Monday. But until then, keep your cool. Don't be a fool, right, AK? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's, that's some solid advice. Rumors of suspension connected hybrid curs off the charts. Charts. And a theory has come out that uh, the sirens releasing a full spec, releasing full spec.